Hello Nurse, today we are going to study about types of flagella. Flagella, they are actually extremely thin hair like appendages. Appendages mean that they are going to act just like the legs and hand in the bacteria. So instead of hands and leg, they have flagella. The singular of flagella is flagellum. So when one structure is present, it will be known as flagellum. But when more than one structure is present, it will be known as flagella. They actually come out through the cell wall and they are originated from the basal body structure which is present beneath the cell membrane in the cytoplasm. So if it is a cytoplasm and this is a cell membrane and here the structure is basal body. So from this basal body they will originate, move from the cell membrane through the cell wall like this and then they are going to protrude out or moving out of the cell. The flagella they are made up of protein flagellin so the name they are similar to each other flagella and flagellin bacilli and spiral shaped bacteria they have flagella while the cocci they rarely have the flagella so if you wanted to study the structure of flagella you have to select the bacilli or the spiral bacteria. The function is mostly in the motility or the movement of bacteria. So if the bacteria wants to move from one place to another place, it will be helped by the flagella. The flagella, they are also responsible for the detection and movement in response to the chemical signals. And this type of behavior is known as chemotaxis. For example, in a particular environment, some kind of chemicals are present which are dangerous or harmful to the bacteria. So the flagella is going to detect the chemicals and will help the bacteria to move away from that particular chemical by the help of chemotaxis. Talking about the types of flagella, there are five main types of flagella present in a bacteria atrichus monotrichus lophotrichus amphitrichus and peritrichus talking about atrichus here the word trichus mean hair like part so instead of flagella they are using the word trichus so whenever the word trichus is used it means they are talking about the flagella or hair like structure and here the a means without so a trichus mean the bacteria which do not have any flagellum here you can see this bacteria is a trichus because it doesn't contain any flagella the second type of flagella is monotrichus here the mono means one while the trichus mean the same hair like structure so it means that single polar flagellum is present polar mean that at only one side of the bacteria flagellum is present then comes the third type which is known as lophotrichus trichus again mean hair like structure and lopho mean crest here the crest mean the trough on the head of animals trough is actually a collection of hair so when a collection of hair or a collection of flagellum is present on one side or one surface or one pole of a bacteria it will be known as lophotrichus so it is just present on one head or one side of the bacteria then comes the amphitrichus again trichus mean hair and amphi means both so it means that the hairs they are present on the both side so single flagellum is present at both poles of the bacteria here you can see one pole and the other pole they both have singular flagellum then comes the last type which is known as peritrichus in the peritrichus the trichus mean hair like structure and peri mean all around it means that the hairs they are present all around the surface of a bacterium here you can see this is bacteria and the flagellum are present all around the surface of that particular bacteria so this is why it is known as peritrichus so that was all about the types of flagella if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video